All right, so in this video, we're going to take those factorials that we learned and we're going to use them to solve actual problems. So one of the questions that we often come up with in math is how many ways can you arrange objects? So the first question we're going to ask is how many ways can n people n being the number of people, how many ways can n people line up in a line? So the answer is going to be n factorial. So we're going to be using the n and the factorial to be able to solve these types of problems. So the first one that I want to go over is how many ways can six people line up? Well, if you think about it, let's do six letters. Let's say the first person is A, the next person is B, and then we have to have six people. So we have C, D, E, and F. So these are my six people. Here's one way they can do it. Another way is maybe C comes before B. So we could do it this way. And we can keep on finding new ways to line up the six people but order does matter here. So order does matter. So how can we solve this? We're going to be using six factorial. So now what is six factorial? That would be six times five times four times three times two times one. So multiplying these in pairs, we know that six times five is gonna give us 30. Four times three is gonna give us 12. And two times one is gonna give us two. So now multiplying these three numbers together, we're gonna get 30 times 12 times two. If I put the 12 and the two together, I'm going to get 24. Bring down the 30. And then 30 times 24 is going to give me 720. And that's going to be my answer. So it's kind of interesting to think that if you do have however many people, and you want to find all the ways that you can line these six people up, all the possible combinations come out to be 720 ways.